Hello and welcome to a new video review, this time about the March X 8280 by 56 March rifoscopes are made by the company Dayon Optical Design, which is located in central Japan and the company was established in 2004. The company has a lot of experience and this rifoscope I have in front of me is a great example uh, about the great experience from this company because this rifoscope is on the market already for about 12 years and even up today it is still the highest magnification rifoscope on the market. The scopes from March are, are all made completely in Japan, so included the lenses. All uh, parts come only from Japan. Uh, the lenses March uses in this particular scope are ED lenses, so extra low dispersion glass, for even a better image quality. What is special about this March X uh, series is they were for a long time the best and most popular rifle scopes uh, in field target and air rifle competitions. They are completely made out, out of metal uh, and are shockproof for all the calibers, so 50 BMG included. The entire housing is argon perched, which means you can use the scope also in very cold environment and the internals will not start to fog. And it is also completely waterproof, I think up to 4 meters of depth. The scope is quite long, it has 407 millimeters and 845 grams. So it is more on the heavy side, I would say, for such a magnification rifle scope. The magnification on this rifle scope goes from 8 and all the way to 80. So you get a true 10 times zoom factor magnification and up to 80 times zoom. So this is really unique on the market and there is no other manufacturer with such a high uh, magnification. The objective lens diameter is 56 millimeters and the outside diameter of the objective is 64 millimeters. The warranty for this scope is 10 years, but uh, I think most of the users will never use the warranty because in our company we sold really a lot of March rifoscopes and we didn't got a single rifoscope back for warranty repairs till now. The price of this scope uh, starts at approximately 3350 euros uh, but this is without illumination and with illumination and the scope is also available in silver color uh, the price goes up to approximately 300, 700, uh, 3720 euros now the scope has the reticle positioned in the second focal plane so it stays the same at all magnifications and it does not change um, when you change the magnification and in this particular model the, is the reticle uh, 1 16th of uh, MOA uh, dot so a really small dot in the middle of the crosshair. There are all in all six rifle uh, 
reticles available with illumination and 11 without illumination which is which is really a lot there are not many rifle scopes manufacturers which have such a big uh, reticle uh, reticle styles which so many reticle styles available the illuminated reticles are only the MTR reticles and except for the MTR5 they are all completely illuminated only the MTR5 has a center dot illumination the scope features a auto turn off feature so if you use the scope and forget the illumination on the illumination goes off after one hour and all in all I think there are six intensity settings available the battery compartment on the illuminated model is on the parallax turret and the illumination can be adjusted only with the push of a button and you need only one CR2032 battery for the illumination. As I said, the scope is completely made out of metal. They are, there are no rubber parts anywhere on this rifle scope. And here you can see the adjustable eyepiece, which is really finely adjustable. So you can perfectly fit this rifle scope to your eyes. And another great feature is this counter locking ring. So when you adjusted your eyepiece to your eyes, you can simply uh, screw this piece here to the ocular and then you can tighten it together and the ocular is completely fixed so there is no possibility that you somehow change your eyepiece uh, setting uh, during transportation or uh, during the shooting or everything then the magnification ring as I said the maximal magnification is 80 times and the minimal magnification is 8 times so a true 10 times zoom factor uh, magnification. For the magnification ring, there is also a throw lever included, which is this one. It is made completely out of plastic, which, in my opinion, it does not fit the quality of the rifle scope. It is the rifle scope is a uh, premium uh, rifle scope and yeah March includes only this uh, plastic throw lever it is very easy to install you just have to pit, put it on the on this uh, part here of the magnification ring and simply attach it like this and the magnification ring has already the throw lever installed so very very easy the throw lever is even though it is made from plastic it is nicely made it fits perfectly on the magnification ring and there is no wobbling whatsoever when you mount it Now the tube is, as I said, 34 millimeters. And what is special is that March has four millimeters thick uh, walls. So there is really a lot of material through the entire scope uh, for increased durability or protection. The 
mount I have here. Uh, as you can see, it was already mounted. It's an Audere Adversus monoblock mount. And further here, we have the turrets. On this turret on the left side, we have the parallax adjustment, which goes from 10 yards all the way to infinity and as you can see you make almost a complete rotation of the parallax when you go from 10 to infinity so this is really really great because you can fine-tune your parallax perfectly to your target this is also very important for um, field target and air rifle competitions because you have to measure your distance to the target through, through the parallax. So there is, I can show you here, this ring optionally. Uh, purchase it is like it can be mounted like you see here and what does this ring do it comes on this side on the parallax with the cable tie uh, it is this is also not the best solution in my opinion uh, the cable tie comes around the main tube and uh, when you look from behind the scope you can see like this to the big ring and on this big ring you can you can uh, write on distances so through this ring then you can me uh, let's say measure or uh, guess the distance to your target when the target is uh, in focus. Now for the turrets. These are tactical turrets but this scope is also available with capped uh, sports uh, turrets. So if, if you want to adjust the turret you then have to take down the cap. Now, the tactical turrets have really, really nice clicks. Maybe you can hear, they're very audible. And the click is 1 8 uh, of MOA, but the lines here are 1 quarter of a MOA. So that they are, there are not too many lines. Uh, they choose to let the free space in between the lines, but because the space is really big, you can easily see that you are between. So it is a nice solution. In one revolution, you get exactly 10 MOA of travel. And this turret is a multi-turn turret. So you can make multiple turns for the elevation. All in all, uh, you have 60 MOA of travel. Uh, so six entire revolutions. There are unfortunately no, uh, there is unfortunately no turn indicator as you can see here when you come out you just have these uh, lines here which is pretty difficult to say in what in what revolution you are cu currently in the clicks as i said feel great they are very audible but also very tactile so you can easily make every single click without that when you want to make one quick 
click that the turret goes multiple clicks. Uh, the turret has also a zero set function, which is this part here. Maybe you can see it better like this. When you turn this part, it travels up to the turret. And with this part, you can easily set your zero or zero stop in this case. So let's say you're on the range. You made your adjustment like this. You simply go up. Uh, wrong direction until this part stops you tighten these two small screws and your zero stop is already set for zero ring it is also very easy you just have to unscrew this middle part here like this then you take this middle part out or this middle screw and you can take down the turret then you just simply make that the zero is facing forward like this and you screw back the small screw inside and Tighten it back in. Now the vintage turret is also very uh, good. You have also very tactile and uh, audible clicks. So you can easily hear and feel every single click. And this turret has also a multi-turn design so you can go in each direction multiple turns the entire vintage uh, travel is 40 moa so if you zero in the middle you have 10 moa left and right i mean 20 moa left or right of adjustment the turret has these small lines here for indicating in which turn you are in. I think this is not the best solution because you can, it's not very easy to see in which turn you are currently in. There are marks on the turret uh, in how many clicks you go. So you have uh, from one to nine in this direction. But if you click in the other direction, you have to look on the smaller parts uh, or smaller numbers here on the turret. This turret is also very easy to zero. It is the same uh, process like here. You just have to unscrew this middle part, make that the zero is facing forward and screw back in. Now for the optical performance. The rifle scope has really great optical quality, especially if you look at the 80 times zoom, it is still very, very good. It is, uh, let's say the image is a little bit uh, less sharp than on let's say 60 times uh, magnification but it is still extremely good the field of view of this scope is on the eight times magnification 4.36 meters at 100 meters and at 80 times zoom it's 0 0.44 meters at 100 meters the eye relief is 83 to 97 millimeters, which is enough even if you want to use the scope on high recoiling, recoiling rifles. So there is a lot of 
I will leave for your safety. The iBox is very good at the smallest magnification, but surprisingly good also at 80 times. So it is not very difficult to use the scope on also on the biggest magnification. Now let's talk about what's in the box, what comes with the scope. First of all, you get this uh, modifier disc, which can simply be screwed inside the scope like this. And what does this do? First of all, it cuts light by approximately 40% uh, through the scope. So if you shoot on a very sunny day, this can be uh, a big help, especially if the sun is in front of uh, the scope. This ring in increases also the depth of focus for approximately 40% and it modifies the view of Mirage. So you see less Mirage if you install this modifier disc. It is very lightweight and it does not have any lin uh, lens inside. So the weight is all only approximately seven or eight grams. So you don't really feel any difference on the scope. The scope comes with these protective covers, which is which come, on, uh, I think, only for transportation. And there are two flip-up covers included in the box. They are made from hard plastic, but they actually feel pretty nice. You get also a sunshade, a hex wrench for adjusting of your zero stop position, a cleaning cloth and also a owner's manual with all the reticle subtensions and yeah, all the information you need about this scope. Some instructions about mounting or how you should probably uh, mount the scope that without that you damage uh, the tube or the internals and some data sheet with all your with all the specification about the rifle scope and also the warranty for if you if something happens happens with the scope for sending in you just have to write what's the problem but as I said it is very unlikely that something goes wrong with this scope because we didn't have a single warranty repair up to now. Now for a short summary. Uh, what do I like or dislike about this scope? First of all, the positives. Uh, I really like that there are so many reticle options available. So every user can choose the perfect reticle for his needs or what does he prefer and that you get the possibility that you order the scope with or without illumination because if you use the scope mainly during daytime on a bright day then you don't need the illumination and you can save a few hundred euros then the magnification as I said, it is the only rifle scope with such a high magnification till now on the market. And it is because of that, it is really unique. The turrets, I like the clicks because as I said, they are very tactile and audible and they are easy to set to zero. And the zero stop is also very, easy to adjust and simply to operate. Then I like that you get a lot of accessories. So 
so you don't need to purchase any additional let's say a sunshade or additional uh, flip up caps or anything because it's everything included and uh, that additionally you can purchase uh, some accessories like I showed before this magnif uh, I mean parallax wheel if you shoot um, field target or air rifle competitions and where do I see some room for improvements first of all on the turret because there is no turn indicator I know this scope is designed for sports shooting so every shooter can go to the clicks he needs and then back from back to zero and then count it back up if you shoot another distance but with a turn indicator or some lines under the turret it would be much easier or quicker to use and the second uh, room where do I see room for improvement is the weight it is a pretty heavy scope especially if you want to use it with uh, f-class uh, target rifles which weight is limited so if you put on a very heavy scope you are very easily over the 8.2 kilos which your rig uh, can have okay I hope I covered it all about the scope and if you have any additional questions click the link below and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe thanks for watching